Hello everyone, this is Samit. In this video, we'll learn how you can use Prettier, which is a Visual Studio Code extension, to format your code like a pro. We'll look into why do you need a Prettier extension, how to install it, uh, some of the setup when you use it for the first time, and then we'll use number of examples on how to use Prettier in Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. So why do you need a Prettier? Well, it can automate the code formatting for you. And so you can focus on your source code. It also allows you to have a consistent style throughout your code. As you work on a different project that can last for you know days or weeks or months or years, many times the style within your source code can change depending upon the mood or depending upon the different developer. And so by using Prettier, you can have a consistent style formatting in your source code, which makes it easier for you to read your code. So how to install it? Now installation is pretty easy. You just have to look for the Prettier extension in VS Code and just click install. Uh, you may have to reload or restart in order to make sure that all the settings are showing up. So let's go ahead and open our Visual Studio Code. And the extensions are located on this right, uh, left hand sidebar right here. So let's click on that and let's search for Prettier. So there are a number of uh, search that shows up. The one that we are looking is the, the developer is a Prettier, uh, the name of the you know extension developer. And so in order to install it, it's pretty easy. You just click on install. If you want to read some of the documentation, you can read through this. Uh, we are going to go through some of these uh, in just a bit. So let's go ahead and click install. And so it is installed, uh, and now we are going to use that. As I said, there are times where the, the settings of Prettier doesn't show up immediately. For example, if you go to settings, uh, you can actually press control comma, uh, and if you search for Prettier, uh, well, this it does show up, but many times I've seen it doesn't show up. If it doesn't work in your case, just restart your Visual Studio Code. Okay, so that is how you install uh, the the source uh, Prettier code formatter. Okay, so let's go back to our documentation. And so, what are the the first time setup that you may want to do? So there are different ways to set up Prettier. Uh, there is a way in which you can set it up from Visual Studio Code settings. Uh, then you can also create a configuration file for Prettier. And then you can also create this .editor config file. Now this is just a quick, uh, a basic start uh, for Prettier. So I'm not going to go into the second and third option. Uh, you can actually uh, look into the documentation and that will give you some more idea. We are going to just use a basic Prettier uh, formatting. And so we are going to do some of the changes in VS Code settings. Now, it is actually recommended that you do use these two later on as you get more familiarized with Prettier. But for now, let's just leave it as it is and we'll just use our VS Code settings. Okay, And so in order to set the default formatter in Visual Studio, uh, let's try one of the examples. So I'll close the extensions and I'll close the settings. And let's say I have this HTML file or it's just a small snippet. Now you can see the formatting is pretty bad. Uh, there are no uh, there are no spaces or white spaces, no uh, indentation to really read this code. And so in order to form it using our pretty a pretty year, you can right click on it and you can select one of these options. You can say format selection, format document, or format document with. Now VS Code comes with its own uh, code formatter and so it may give you an option. So let me go ahead and click on this format document with. So you can see that it does give me two options. One is a prettier code formatter, and then currently HTML language feature is a default. So if I click on this prettier, now you can see it actually added these extra spaces and it indented the code to, to make it look much better, right? So let's do Control Z to go back uh, with the unformatted HTML code. Now the one way to also know how, uh, whether which code formatter you're going to use is right here. On the right hand side lower right corner you can see that prettier is listed if you click on it it even gives you some of the output settings and so on 
so we don't need to go right now but it means that prettier is going to be used if you want to format this code uh, so one way we learned is you right click on it the other is using a command palette which is the most common way to uh, launch any sort of command in v visual studio code so the way in which you do it on windows is control shift p and then you just simply type format document and it should narrow it down to the one that we want and let's click on that by pressing enter and now you can see that it is actually using pretty fire a uh, pretty year sorry uh, to uh, format our html code okay so let's go back to our documentation and so that is how you set up uh, or that is how you actually use uh, vs code prettier extension now we already saw how you can use it using a command palette uh, we also learned how you can right click on on a particular document format or format selection now there are other settings that are also there in prettier one of them is when you save a file it automatically formats the code for you so let's try that so let's go back to our html file and let's say i'm creating uh, some unordered list and i'm going to add some list items and say let's say test one or item one item two so now if i go ahead and save this it didn't format anything but this of course doesn't look very good and so let's go to settings so by going to control comma it should take you to the vs code settings and let's go to a text editor and let's go to formatting now here there is an option format on save so basically what it means is the moment you save a document or a file it will automatically format based upon the the formatter or the default formatter we are having so if i check this uh, this setting is saved now so let's go back here and if i go and control s or save this you can see it automatically formatted this uh, particular code which was not formatted properly again if i do control z this is how it was and if i go and file and save or control s that's what i was doing you can see it automatically format the code for you and from now on anytime you add anything it will always uh, format the code for you for example let's say we have an order list this time and then i do this and if i do control s which is going to save this file you can see it automatically format the code for you now this is a very simple example uh, but if you have a more complicated code it should work as well so this is for the html file let's look at the json file so here i have a, a just a small example of a json file and the format doesn't look very neat and clean so if i want to use a prettier to save uh, and then format this code i can either do Control shift p and then click format document and you can see it is nicely formatted little better than how it was before which was like this so Control shift p format code and you can see like that and i can save it here is another example where html file is not formatted well if i do Control s which is basically saving it automatically formats it for you so Control s and then here is an a J, a css file which is uh, i mean not bad but if you have a lot of uh, you know different attributes uh, this is not usually how people uh, format the css so if i do control s you can see it is nicely formatted now now in your case uh, if you are setting the format formatting you know tool for the first time you may get a notification that the default formatter is not set so in that case you just have to select prettier from the list so so far we looked into why do we need a pretty prettier how to install it how to set it up for the first time and then how to use for different kind of file format and so make sure that you use this and as you get more and more familiar with that uh, as i said earlier try to read the document and and get the configuration file and then uh, configure prettier in that way uh, for this particular video i'm just going with the basics of prettier so i'm not going into that but if you do want to know that just uh, just add a comment in the comment section and i can create uh, a follow-up video 
in which I go with the configuration file. So I hope you learned something new. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you like the content of this video, please subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you. Bye.